Hey you guys, this is Jerry Mateo with In The Daw, and today we're going to be taking a look at Hornet Plugin's new Hornet Tape, their tape simulation machine plugin. Now this is their unique spin on uh, tape emulations, and in my two cents, I think this thing does probably some of the best, most analog style or tape style soft clipping I've ever heard. Like most tape machines, there are many different types, many different flavors, and what that does is that gives you multiple different EQ curves, saturation curves, dynamic responses. The way that they've emulated this is by having an input and output, which you can actually compensate by clicking this button. You even have an auto gain so you can actually hit your tape machine by any level that you want it to. And you have eight groups as well as eight tape machines that you can choose from. You can even overbias your machine right here. But like a real tape machine, it really doesn't do much unless you're either hitting it really hard or having it across your entire mix. So I have a rough static mix of a song right here. This is a Black Sabbath cover that I've uh, done a video on before. I have the most basic forms of EQ and compression. Nothing really crazy. This is just to get a rough idea of where I wanted to bring this. So I'm going to have the tape machine bypass. And this is the group one that I have every single track in. So we're just going to play it real quick. And we bring it in. Bypass it. So you can really hear how it really just brings everything to life. Now, I have actually used the input and outputs to basically create my own type of saturation curve. I've done it across every channel. I've just driven them the tiniest bit. And because it is like tape, it does have natural compression due to the saturations. But what's really cool is I'm really digging the sound when you bias it hard and when you switch through the different tape machines. So now what I want you to listen to is we're going to have it on and I'm going to bias it differently and we're going to hear what it actually does to the mix. Now, if you really listen to when I have zero and six, it is a tiny bit louder as far as RMS, but its peak volume is actually a little bit quieter. But the reason why it sounds louder is because you're hitting it harder. And as you can hear from the snare, you're causing more distortion. So I'm actually doing what a tape machine does when you hit it hard is you're actually getting more volume out of it by reducing the peaks, giving yourself more headroom, but reducing your dynamic range and adding some excitement using the harmonic saturation. So let's do it again. This time, let's actually switch between the tape machines to see if we can actually hear an audible difference. Okay, Swiss sounds really good. Listen to the snare hit and the body of the snare. The American 30 Ips has this amazing high end, while the Swiss has this amazing low mid range. But as you can hear, they do sound different. One of them has like a glassy sound to it. The other one has a more full impact kind of sound. Now, let me show you guys a really, really easy way to actually determine which type of tape machine does what. I'm going to make a copy right here on the uh, snare, and I'm going to bypass the one that was on there originally. So we grab the snare, we put it in no group, which is perfect, what we want it to be. And let's set it up to stock settings. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bypass the uh, tape machine on the snare. And since I made a copy, I'm going to make sure it's in no group. I'm going to completely zero it out. And let's just listen to it real quick. We just have the snare right now. Turn on. No real difference, right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have the output compensation and we're going to drive it till we start hearing some distortion. Right now, I'm already hearing it. And that's where we're really getting it. Bypass it. So let's bring up the overall output so we have a relatively same peak volume. And then we turn it off. Now, that sounds really good, especially considering I'm literally just slamming it like crazy. But what I want to do is I want to show you guys what it actually does and how it sounds different. So let's go back to the American. And now listen to the body in the distortion. Listen to that low end. To the Japan. And then we're going to go back to American. Mm -hmm. 
really, really interesting. And uh, that's actually something that happens a lot with real tape, though, is each different machine and each different tape type will have a different color to it. That's why you're supposed to bias it and make sure that it's set up properly. Overall, like I said, I think this is an amazing soft pepper, and I think it's a really great way to have zero latency, very affordable tape emulations that you can put across your whole mix. And overall, my first impressions are this thing is really, really good. And I look forward to seeing what else they have in store for this plug. I hope you guys like this. This is uh, more focused on listening and seeing what the differences are. Anyway, that's it for today's video. This is Jerry Mateo with In The Daw, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.